Third time. You know what? Third time. Third time's a charm. Third time's when a guy breaks. When a guy gets thinking. On this saw, the 790 MC 101. Third time I've had to get into it because of an intake gasket. So I have an option. I think I'm going to do it. I'm pretty sure I will. So, you get this far, you get into it, and you wonder to yourself, do I have another option? You know, I built this as a sleeper, something somebody would look at and say, okay, there's nothing special about this. Well, now they're going to look at it and know there's something special. So, as the last video showed, I, well, okay, I get, yeah, last video, maybe, I don't know. Depends on when I upload this, get it there. I 3D printed my own gaskets. I gotta test it. Well, this saw's gotta be tested. And why put it all together with three of these and if, some, if something fails, why do that? So, gasket that failed was a stock McCullough one. Wasn't Brian's, Brian's gasket, it, it, it was on there. Awesome, it, it was fantastically on there still stuck half of it still stuck it it rips down the center it's a fiber type stuck to this and i mean it's it's on there his t took in the the sealant and stuff very fantastic uh the the uh felpro care pack one it peeled off um but it's a little stronger of a type of fiber but uh i, I didn't detect any leaks around it either so it, it didn't fail there but um there was a uh, when I spray on the intake underside spray around the carb nothing no leaks on my adapter no nothing like that so that wasn't the leak okay spray on the underside of the where the tank meets the block and it just and it died okay it sat on the shelf I'll get to you well now we've got to test these got to test them out and there were a few questions on it saying, well, on against the block, is it going to get you hot and melt? I don't know. Uh, somebody said, what if you put it in boiling water? I don't think that's really a good test, honestly. Um, because gaskets are not designed to be on their own and do a job. They're designed to be between two metal surfaces, two surfaces, and be compressed and seal that up. So I don't think... Putting it in boiling water is going to prove anything at all uh, and whatnot. You know, that, that won't really test its failure. It's like me putting a paper gasket into boiling water and, oh, it fell apart. It failed. I kind of like doing that. Um, so we're just going to do it. We're going to put it on here. We're going to bolt her down, clean up our surfaces real good. And we are going to go ahead and put this on correctly. We're going to take a card intake and we are going to put the big old, the Tilly, the Tilly HL324 on there. Somebody had re-stamped it at one point. It was an HL3 something, 362, I don't know. But now it's a 324A. So we're going to stick this big old Tilly on and we're going to run it. Hopefully, run it. So, we're going to do that. It's still, it's still going to be like an overkill firewood saw, but it's going to be an overkill with an attitude. So, we've got to do quite a bit here. This handle, the rear handle, go right on here. We'll bolt her on. We'll have to take a measurement for some sheet metal. I've got some aluminum, really thick aluminum here. And measure it to go down, up, and where it can bolt down onto the top of this. So, it angles like... It's like a 45 degree angle, 30 degree angle, something like that. Take it here, down, bend it, bolt it here. The rear shroud, I'm gonna have to extend this over so that when the rear shroud goes up, it'll be able to bolt down to, to it and everything so we can keep it cool. Full wrap, 
want to get it on. I'll have to make some top supports. I don't know how that's going to work out yet. Get that bolted on. I've seen guys take it from one to another. That could be done. <clears throat> but uh, oh, and the exhaust the bolt broke off. So I've got one at the bottom. Great. That's just that's just great. So, so we've got that and that. We gotta get throttle linkage. If you figure out a fuel tank of sorts, I don't know. I've see if I can find something, make something small. We'll figure something out to get her running enough to test her. But uh, yeah, I've reached it. We're gonna do this. So get gloves on, get the cutters, start bolting stuff, and we'll see what we can do here in terms of. That. We got the Sharpie, got that, we got a measure. So, this stuff, say goodbye. It's going in a box. I'll put her all back together and stuff to keep things happy and whatnot here real quick off camera, but we're doing it. It's got to happen. Not the most ideal setup, but it's doing it. How far I need to go, um, figure it out. Got a press brake I can borrow, or a bender. Um. This is why I built the bench. Uh, Overbuilt it. I gotta cut that out still, that little nub, but. cut this little spot out here and then uh we can keep test fitting back and forth back and forth that's all it is well after uh a little bit more time and i uh, told you i told, told you it was gonna happen so you get into this for a third time and stuff you've got the parts laying around it is just just do it all right so just like one screw holding that down so it doesn't move too much and you've got yourself this thing But uh, it's designed so that you can still utilize the rear shroud, obviously. Always got to pull the trigger. I got to put a screw hole and stuff, but made so it'll bolt down, hold the intake down. You can bolt over here, there, the whole shebang. It'll, and then hold this rear. So it'll all be solid and everything. I got to measure, drill holes for this, bolt it, all that good stuff. And then when this one's set and everything of course I still got to make throttle linkage and everything which shouldn't be too difficult that's actually a pretty simple process I need to get the vice mounted out here so and the only reason I'm sitting out here right now is this is that weekend we had in the midwest here hot 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 then we hit a beautiful Friday Saturday and then Sunday's gonna start warming up a little bit I'm doing this on Saturday so and then it's gonna turn back to hot so I'm only sitting right here doing this because it's nice out. So this is complete coincidence. I did not wake up today actually thinking I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn this into one of those saws. So uh, continue the work here and whatnot. But uh, like I can say this is just basic hand tools, beating stuff and some cutters and no wobble pops yet. Not with this. I need, I need a clear mind for this one. So, just keep on keeping on. The oil rod, I'm, it's got an auto oiler on it and it works. So, just keep on going and uh, whatnot. So, I could believe I forgot I have this metal right here to be able to do something like this. So, I keep on keeping on here and uh, get holes drilled and stuff like that. Just take a pencil, something in, and boop, boop. And then measure where the intake goes. I'll bolt it down real quick and. Uh, We'll get everybody happy and cinched up and stuff like that. But uh, the saw ran great. When it ran, it ran excellent, as you guys saw. And then it get into the wood, and then it hated life. And, all right, you're going to make my life a living heck. We're going to make yours. You look like heck. So, had to be yellow side up. Had to be. Because nobody, nobody wants to see that. All right. I don't, this isn't a shiny saw. This isn't pretty. This isn't a pretty saw, so. I guess it's pretty in the eyes of the beholder. All right, I'll get, keep on going here. And, uh, of course, I have music that plays, so just kind of keeping my mind going. 
All right, so added some temporary screws to hold it and everything. I mean, it's it's down. It's stuff, and it's solid. Absolutely solid, minus the rear and anything else that wants to jiggle. Like that. But that is, it's solid. It's not going too far. Once I get everything completely bolted down, I got to wall her out one hole and uh, learn how to measure. But we're just eyeballing it. So, with the, with the eyecrometer, so. Um... Yeah, when you measure something and you flip it over, you gotta make sure you invert stuff. And well, you didn't do that. So let's see what's it gonna look like with this. I mean, now it's starting to look like something. How I'm gonna mount this up here? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking uh, more sign that I'm using. Just take it from the anti the vibration mounts here, which are still in great shape. We'll take it down bring her over and there's two screws up at the top here on the little tank that'd be a good mount point try to keep uh clearances and for if we you know put a gas tank right here which i'm thinking that's a good spot to put it. it's out of the way nothing's gonna get away with throttle linkages and stuff like that i mean i've seen guys go underneath up above they've used cables and we're just gonna direct route so good old fuel tank enough to fit right here be a good support for it. Plenty of screws to be able to mount to also if you can get them undone. Because they're all rusted on. But starting to look like something is what it is. And that is the goal. Have I ever done something like this? I've done some stuff where I've bolted bodies on. You know, just I've taken the D30 body, slap it on a cart engine and just run it. It runs great. But have I ever done something like this custom? Not yet. Have I been wanting to for a while? Absolutely. So it's just one of those you sit there and the old school guys, this is exactly what they did. They just took a saw, a cart engine. They just, they bare bones, minimal, everything. Starter. I mean, I'm going to keep a closed clutch on this one, but uh, they'd have just open clutch, everything. Just go out on the weekends. You get the day off and cutting wood was in your blood and they wanted to prove who was faster you know i could build the faster better saw fine see you this weekend we're gonna go cut and there it is so but uh gonna keep going i don't know how long i'm gonna make this video for but i definitely want to bring you guys for a ride though like I said it went from the goal of we're it's still the goal of testing out the uh gasket and whatnot, and I'm gonna be doing more of that when we go to build the Super Pro 125 101B. That one is going to use all the gaskets, but we're gonna go ahead and test it with this one too right here. What I like about this setup is it's just a few bolts and everything just slides right out of place. I'm not having to remove 1,200 different things, take a tank off. I like testing it with the cart ones. If it'll survive one of these, it's gonna survive one of those, so. Um, I can say, this one definitely, I can still turn back right now and go back to stock, but my mind, it's its made up. We're doing this. So we're going to keep on trucking here while it's nice out and uh, keep it going. I can go with a bigger carb later on too. This, I mean, this thing will eat. So I got to keep the music going, build the bracket for this. I'm going to bolt it up down the bottom there. Let her sit like that, and then we're just going to build the bracketry, hook it up to these, learn how to drill holes, and just bring her over and down and get past the auto oiler. So this is going to be some intricate bends right here. But I don't want to bust out the welder. I don't want to do a bunch of steel right now. So we'll work with what we've got and go from there. You guys like what you're seeing? Like, comment, subscribe. You know, like I say, ideas like this. Small engines, stuff like that, little projects. And uh, you want to see more of this, stuff like that and everything, I got an Instagram I'll show you ahead of time on videos coming up. Uh, there's modified saws if you want to see more saws like this, West Bend ones. Um, there's another guy who uses uh, four-stroke engines. His are just completely wild, and it's just awesome and everything. Um, I, don't, I, I, I hate to think I'm getting this wrong. He's in Argentina, I think. But he, his saws are immaculately beautiful. They are show queens, but it's still a modified saws and everything. So, well, uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on with this one and everything. It's kind of going from a, a modified 
cutting saw, you know, to almost racing, almost. And I really like it. It's not ported or anything. I hadn't done any of that, but uh, you know, we'll see. Maybe one day. So keep on keeping on here. I'll keep you updated. I kind of worked ahead. Remember how I promised I'd tell you guys stuff? Well, fuel tank is a total mock-up, but I've got the front mount here. It's there. It's rigid enough. It's, it's not going anywhere. Um, everything's bolted down nice and tight. We've got throttle linkage-ish. So we've got throttle linkage, no binding, wide open throttle. Um, temporary gas tank on the front that I have laying around. We'll see if we get y'all in here. You know, just kind of, it's hanging out. Um, I'd like to get you know, like a weed whacker one because they have like that C shape where it clearances around stuff. So I'd like to try to find one of those to fit into here, possibly. Um, throttle linkage, permanently temporary. I don't know. We'll see how she acts. Um, got the kill switch hooked up. That's done everything. Bolts checked. Double check over all the bolts. Zip ties because they're awesome. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's it's not something that you wouldn't have seen out of, like, the 60s and 70s being built. Even 80s. Guys, they would just, this is it. They would just whip up something like this. I've seen many of these before like this. So, uh, the only other thing left to do is to try and test run it. And, uh, th like I said, this video, th there was no intent when I started this to build a modified saw like this it was strictly to test intake gasket and that's still what we're gonna do but we went off so here gasket tangent just it, it merged back in it merged so we went out modified no more of that and then back to this so um what like I say what this does allow me to do is i can take this off much faster with just one two three four five, six bolts hold the intake on and I can inspect things and stuff like that. So I see Jeremy Bell is live right now and this video might be getting a little long and stuff like that. So um, there's the installation of it. I can't even remember if I showed you the installation of it, but it's just like any other gasket sits right on there. Everything's cinched and tightened down. Uh, I'll give it time to seat in and whatnot. And, uh, but we will bring you back for, um, I don't know if this is going to be like a part two of fixing this saw or if it's part two of, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to definitely try it out on the next video. Um, I'm running out of time today. Also, it's getting evening. Got to think about dinner and got to stream Bell Hopper. So be sure you go check his stuff out. It's every Saturday, Saturday at 5 p.m. I haven't gone live yet. I don't know when I will for you guys. If you guys want me to go live at some point and everything, I've got two weeks coming off in July. Um, pick a day or something. Let me know. Uh, chit chat. What do we want to talk about and everything. So, um, Like I say, this, uh, this definitely turned into something pretty weird looking and stuff, but it's not uncommon and everything. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know. It's something's going to draw people's attention, so. I just want to say thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I can find a weed whacker tank that fits curves into here and can uh, has a fill. Like I say, um, I can't really tilt. The, I got to keep the this this can't go on its side and everything like that. It doesn't have that type of setup inside of its pickup, so it's just got to maintain fuel and it'll be fine. Well, like I said, we're working with the temporary setup for now. So say thanks for watching. Uh, you liked watching this random suddenly. It turned into this from having a normal gas tank. Let me know. And uh, we will get to testing out the gaskets. I promise. We'll get to it. Because like I say, we're going to have future builds too where it uses all of that. If this holds out at least, you know. And the printer is just finishing up another uh, oil tank gasket. I printed them thinner than these. There's no need to go thick on those. So. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, yeah. Also, like I said, clearanced everything for a side cover and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty wild. This is pretty wild. It's got that big old buck and spike on it and everything. And uh, I want to keep that. So I don't know. I don't know. This is this. What do you want to name this one? Let me know. Put a name down in the comments for me. 
right, thanks for watching. All right, so it's been a little while. Um, I'm on carb number three. Um, the one I had on it, the HL324A, it, uh, it's not supplying fuel for some reason. Don't know what's going on with that. It, uh, it'll run, revs hot, and then just <clears throat> falls on its face. I've gone through it a few times, and I don't know what its deal is. It's the same issue as what was happening with the other saws that I was having. Exact same one that this was doing. It would run, run fast, and then die off. So, it was proven on like the third engine now. This is the problem. So, this carb is having issues. The, this is a two, HL264A, alcohol I think it is, stands for. Um, this one will dump a lot of fuel in it, and I'll, uh, I'll show you the video here in a second of it running like that. Um, when you're wide open throttle, you can overfuel it and everything. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, but idle, well, the problem is, it, when you spray with carb cleaner around the throttle shaft, it's got a lot of play on it. And it's leaking around that. I just spray on it. It goes, goes right through. just dies. just overfuels. I even put two-stroke oil on it and it changed it. So that one's having a problem. But it's still... Um, it's So, okay. We'll jump to the old trusty 090. This one is stock. Nothing's been done to it. And it'll just run like you've got your like part throttle and everything. Um, I've gone through like a half a can of carb cleaner, spraying everything, every seal on this thing. Intakes, everything from the new intake gasket to the adapters to that, to the very bottom, which is a new gasket on the base of the carb here. Um, crank seal, everything. Now, the exhaust missing one bolt, I doubt that's the issue. Um, I've had this thing running good and everything and whatnot without that, but uh, the second you spray where it's not bolted or whatever, <clears throat> falls on its face. Of course, typical is two-stroke. It's probably sucking some back in or whatever, I, um, and it just falls on its face immediately if you hit the exhaust with it. So, I doubt, I've been told it, it, w it will not affect it, it that it, uh, but uh, it acts like it's almost free porting. But I've checked it, and the piston's not going higher than it should. So I'm kind of unsure what its running issue is. It it just runs fast. I'll show the video here after this with the uh, 264A, and that's the exact same thing this one's doing. So I'm kind of unsure at this point what's happening here. It's I can't find an air leak anywhere on this thing. I mean, you turn on its sides, it doesn't change. You spray the crank seal, that doesn't change, and it's brand new. So, kind of unsure, but if you have an idea, let me know in the comments. Um, Alright, it, it runs, but just fast. Real fast. I mean, no idle. But if you wanted, you know, it to be kind of a strict racing saw, where it just runs fast and then you turn it off, this is the girl. So... Um, yeah, just won't idle down. Don't know where, what, or anything. Like I said, I've gone through a half a can of carb cleaner spray, just spraying everything, and everything being shiny and clean now. It hasn't really shown me anything other than hitting the exhaust pipe. So, I'll let you guys figure that out. I'll, well, not figure it out. I'll let you leave suggestions for me and everything. And uh, we'll let that stew for a little while. Like I say, this, is, uh, this car's only been ran like three times severely doubt it's the issue I've got the screws turned out on the low side to calm it down a little at least keep it running but don't know trying to think of what it could be the only other option I've got is to take a good a known carb off of another one and put it on this and of course this has the Tilly adapter so I gotta do an intake swap again which give time to look at stuff but makes you cross your eyes so all right if you got a suggestion let me know in the comments but uh intake gasket i presume it's holding up good i don't see any problems with it yet i mean it's like i say maybe we'll put sealer on it 
see if that's it, but like I said, I spray it, nothing changes whatsoever. It doesn't up, down, left, right, diagonal. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll come back to this.